Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Hello and welcome my dear students to a new lesson of English And now we are in the unit number 2 In today's lesson we will talk about the weather and the climate And we want to know how can we differentiate between weather and climate So in this lesson we will talk about weather and climate and at the same time we will have two lessons here lesson number one and lesson number two this class will be so long because it consists of two lessons lesson number one and lesson number two and they occur at the title of reading especially talking we will talk about taking notes how can we take notes let's begin before you read now in the first lesson what are we required to do number a work in pairs look at the table and write more words about weather and the climate how many how many can you write in three minutes here we want to write more words about weather and climate in just three minutes this table as you have seen consists of three parts the first one relating to nouns the second one with verbs and the f and the last one with adjectives and under these three titles we want to write some words related to weather and climate within three minutes so under the title of nouns we can say rain temperature heat warmth cold snow fog mist etc yes under the title of verbs we can say we can write rain sorry rain here is a verb heat warm cool snow fog mist hail etc and in the third part I mean adjectives we can write rainy so rainy here is an adjective rainy hot cold warm cool snowy foggy misty etc And now I want to show you these answers I mean the possible answers of the previous table so under the nouns we can say rain temperature heat warmth cold snow fog mist hail and sleet rain heat warm cool snow fog mist hail and sleet occur at the title of verbs and finally we have rainy hot cold warm cool snowy foggy and misty and all of these words are adjectives relating to the weather and the climate now after doing the first task I mean the task number a let's move to something else I mean here exercise number B look at the pictures and captions on page number 19 in the following page and discuss these questions what are Ali and Wendy's hometowns here we want to look at the pictures and the captions the notes behind uh, 
the notes which are under the pictures after that we have to discuss these questions what are Ali and Wendy's home towns home towns number two what do you think the climate is like what's the weather like where they live where they settle down so from the picture we can deduct the answers Ali's hometown is mascot in Oman whereas Wendy's hometown is Fairbanks in Alaska Ali is from Oman and Wendy is from the USA he is from Fairbanks in Alaska in the USA I mean the United States of America for the second question which is what do you think the climate is like where they live here that's clear that the clothes the people are wearing indicate that Oman is hot and Alaska is very cold how can we get th these this information we can get the information from the wearing from the dress here so the clothes are the clothes which are words by people indicate that Oman is so hot and Alaska is very cold in fact Oman is very hot in summer and it's warm and sometimes cloudy in winter whereas Alaska is very cold and snowy in winter it's very cold it's freezing and snowy in winter with lots of snow and it's warm in summer so here we have extreme weather we have very extreme weather number two while you read we are asked to read only the introduction to the text on page number 19 and answer the questions question number one what does the writer want to find out what does the writer want to discover number two why did the writer choose people from these two places I mean here why did the writer choose people from extreme places these two places now let's read the introduction to the text on page 19 and then do the task how does climate affect the way we live to find out to discover the quest the answer of this question or to this question we ask it to teenagers from different parts of the world Ali Naji who lives in one of the hottest capital cities on earth and Wendy Baker from a town where the winter temperature drops to minus 25 degrees Celsius or lower so from this introduction we can guess the answer we can on uh, we can answer sorry the questions question number one what does the writer want to find out he here the writer wants to find out that how climates affect the way we live how climates influence the way we live and in number two here we want to give the reason why did the writer choose people from these two places 
from different places in the world. The writer chooses one person from a very hot place, one of the hottest capital cities on earth, and one from the very cold place as extreme examples to compare. So here he wants to compare between these extreme places, these extreme places which have an extreme climate and weather also. Now, look at this example of not taking. Are the sentences complete? Here, if we want to take any note, we don't write full sentences. We don't write full sentences. We just write the most important words which help us to get the information. We have an example. Examples of extreme temperatures. Here we want to compare between Muscat and Fairbanks. Muscat swimming pools too hot to swim in. Here this sentence is not complete. Here we put, we use the main words to give us the information. As you have noticed, there is no verb to be here. There is no articles here in this sentence. The same thing is applied on the second, on the second sentence. Fairbanks, ice on lake, cars can drive on it. So here also we don't have articles. We don't have articles. So as a, as general, if we want to take notes, we will write, we just write down the main words. We don't write down any words, any articles here. Yeah. So as we have said, the previous sentences are not complete. Here is the answer. The sentences are not complete. Why? Why are not they complete? Because they only consist of content words, main words. All articles and the verb to be are left out, are deleted, are left out. So this is the convention for note taking in English. Here the meaning is, if you want to take any note in English, this is the traditional way to do that. There is no need to put articles, there is no need to put verb to be sometimes, and etc. So we want to do delete to leave out verb to be and articles and we have to put, we have to use the content words, the meaningful words, just. Now, after that, work in pairs. Student A read Alice's text and student B read Wendy's text. Here we have two texts. The first one is for Ali and the second one is for Wendy, make notes in your notebook under this head or headings. Number one, examples of extreme temperature, going out and staying in. Number three, clothes for special features of buildings. Number five, health problems. And finally, number six, the best part of the gear. Here, after reading, we want to take some notes relating to these six topics or tips. Let's read. 
Now it's the time of reading. The first text, which belongs to Ali, Muscat, the capital of Oman, is so hot in summer that most swimming pools are too hot to swim in. Car bodies get hot enough to cook on. Without air conditioning, driving would be impossible. The steering wheel would burn your hands. If you go out of your house at midday, sweat begins to drip your drip down your neck within seconds, which feels horrible. We stay indoors during the day if we can and go out in the evenings and early mornings. We wear thin cotton dishdashas, which feel more comfortable than European clothes, and open leather sandals. Of course, everyone covers their hand, heads. Surprisingly, more people catch colds in, in the summer than in the winter. This is because the air conditioning in big buildings sometimes makes the air too cold. And it spreads germs too. The winter in Oman is wonderful. It's like a European summer. Sometimes the clear blue sky becomes cloudy, but most of the time the weather is Perfect for enjoying life outdoors. Now let's move to the following text which belongs to Wendy. So here Wendy will describe the climate or the weather in his town. I mean in Fairbanks in Alaska. So here we will see the description of the weather in America. The winters here are very cold. There is a lake near my house which freezes in winter. The ice on the lake is so thick that you can drive a car on it. Houses are often half buried under snow in winter. If your front door is on the ground floor, you have to dig your way out through the snow. So many houses have an upstairs door which is above the snow. It's too cold to go out unless you wear thick woolen sweaters, a thick waterproof jacket, gloves to protect your hands, and a warm fur hat. Without a hat, your head really hurts. Inside the buildings are warm, and they have windows with this with three layers of glass to keep the cold out. People stay indoors a lot, which can be unhealthy physically and mentally. It sounds terrible, but it's not so bad. There are winter sports like skiing and ice skating, which are great fun. And in summer, the snow melts, the country becomes green again, and the lake is warm enough to swim in.